my channel or if you're new here welcome today i'll be showing you guys how to achieve these beautiful anniversary nails so as you can see my girl is a nail biter or should i say was because you see that free edge girl right okay period take some notes if you be biting your fingernails um but since she was a nail biter i did really want to focus on the prep in this video so i'm gonna take a little bit extra time on that cuticle area just because her skin was kind of growing up on her nail plate so i'm just going back and taking a little bit of extra time and making sure i'm removing all of that extra skin that should not be there Then I'm going to put my drill in reverse and then just go back in the opposite direction and make sure I'm really in that cuticle area nicely. And you can see just from these two hands the difference. Like this one, the nail plate is much more open, should I say, versus the other hand that still has a lot of skin on it. Like look at that. Look how far it's grown up. The thumb was out of frame, unfortunately, so it didn't make the cut. But just like the other hand, we're gonna put it in reverse, go the opposite direction, and make sure to get that cuticle area really nicely. And then once I have all of that, I'm just gonna go in with my cuticle nipper and nip any of that extra skin that I was able to get up with my cuticle ball. Look at that difference. You can definitely see her nail plate looks much larger than it did before. Oh, the lighting was better over here. You can see it a lot better. It's lucky satisfying. I was talking a lot during this set, so you might see me stop a couple times throughout the video. I did try to cut out as much of the stopping as possible, but I didn't want you guys to miss anything, so I apologize for that.
I guess I should have said stopping or doing any hand gestures. I didn't realize how much I talked with my hands until I was editing this video. So we are gonna do an ombre. I'm gonna use Excite Me for the white. I didn't wanna use super white for this. I kinda wanted it to have a little razzle dazzle, a little sparkle in it. So I'm gonna use Excite Me for the white. And then of course I'm gonna use my Perfect Nude for my nude color. Now when it comes to laying your ombre, the way that you want to do it is completely up to you. Some people will rather go in and lay down all their tip colors first and then go back through and lay their nude or whatever color they're ombre with. For me personally, for this set, I just went ahead and I thought it was easier to do it finger by finger with the Excite Me still being wet. I felt like it was easier to blend and it made it a little bit more seamless, but if I was doing a brighter color such as a yellow or something like that, then in that case I would go through and lay my tip colors first and then I would change out that monomer just to get any rid of any pigment that might have been in there from the color and then go through with my nude and cap it with the clear. I'm just gonna go through with my clear and just cap that um, ombre to make sure I'm sealing in my design. Honestly, I pretty much had this um, whole set in my head before I even did it. So I knew this finger was gonna have some type of swirl design on it. So I went ahead and laid down my perfect nude and then that middle finger is going to be Excite Me and I'm going to do the same thing for both hands.
again with a different 100 grit file and I'm just gonna use this one to crisp up that shape a little bit and honestly when I was laying these they still look pretty nice but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and make them extra 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 crispy you know what I mean with my in drill and just carving out that cuticle area. I cannot say it enough. I really got my money's worth out of this drill. Please let me know in the comments like some drills that you guys use. Cause like I said, I'm looking for a new one. Um, when I get mine fixed, it'll probably break again. So I'm just gonna end up getting a new one. But this Amazon one has really been working for me. I can't lie.
and now it's time to go in with my buffer and just make sure everything is really smooth. Y'all, I had this little uh, crystal case so organized when I first got it, and I don't know what happened, but don't judge me, judge me and me. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna go in, and we're really only using rhinestones on this middle finger, and I just decided to kind of make some type of pattern, like, in the corner. I knew we didn't want to use, like, the whole nail, and she just wanted a couple here and there, but this is what we decided to go with. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. And that was basically it. Like, just a little something, something to give it some razzle-dazzle. So then I'm going to go through and top coat all of my nails before I do my little swirly design. Because I'm actually going to do a 3D, like, textured design for that. So, yeah, go through and top coat everything. And I did skip that rhinestone finger just because, like, I didn't want all that glue in my brush. I did want to give it time to really dry and get everything set up before I went in with my top because I do not want those rhinestones to go anywhere. And trust me, with this glue, it's not going anywhere. All right, so boom. Now I'm going to take my white chalk, or is it Snowflake? It's Snowflake by d and And I'm just going to draw some little swirlies on there. And I am not Picasso, okay? I just be doing stuff sometimes, and it be cute. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm just going to go through and put um, swirls pretty much all over this nail. And I changed my shorter brush because I feel like the shorter brush was easier for me to draw with. That this is gonna be a 3D textured design, so I did go in and use that same Excite Me that I used for our ombre, and I just poured that over her nails. And then once that came out, I wiped it off and just cuticle pulled her up. And yeah, this is what they turned out like. Ah, that is so cute! You guys, stop it! That is so cute. Look at the transformation too. But yeah, so you guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll be putting out new videos every Monday. Bye.